When Universal Studios Florida opened in June of 1990, a quote, active production studio was promised along with it. Although it may have not been the new Hollywood like they had hoped, there were a fair amount of productions filmed on location here. This is the history of music videos filmed at Universal Studios Florida. The first and by far the most popular video that was filmed here at Universal Studios Florida, according to YouTube at least, is the song My Sacrifice by Creed. What's up y'all? We're Creed and we're here at the Universal Backlot shooting our first day of our new video for My Sacrifice. If you can't tell by my lack of Affliction branded shirts and chain wallets, I am not the biggest fan of Creed. But trust me, that does not stop me from nerding out over how this video was filmed at one of my favorite theme parks. Out of all the videos on this list, this one is by far the highest budget one, and it's blatantly obvious. That's because for this music video, they actually had to flood the streets of New York here. And no, this is not some Life of Pi CGI. This video actually came out in 2001. So well, here we are, day two, in front of uh, flooded Universal Studios. Stay tuned, it's gonna be tough, but it's gonna be new, different, and big. As you guys can see, they flooded an entire street here. From what I hear, it's pretty nasty, so we'll see how it goes. Pretty much a uh, flooded city that we'll be standing in all day long filming for this cool shot here. This is it. Here we go. I think this is awesome. I wish I was in there. Here we go, here we go, first position. To give a little bit of wayfinding for those who are not extremely familiar with the Universal Studios Florida Park, the New York area is here on the map. It encapsulates everything from Jimmy Fallon to Revenge of the Mummy to Transformers The Ride. These streets of New York was once the location where Scott Stapp floated down a city street in a rowboat as he let his bandmates presumably drown. <laughs> It's a very personal song to Scott, and I think we all felt like the video should pretty much revolve around, you know, his experiences and things like that. So it's, we're there as filler, we're back up. That's fine with me, I'm, I'm not much for the limelight. Cut it! Cut it! Yes, in 2001, Universal actually allowed Creed to flood the streets of New York. As you can see, this actually created some beautiful, beautiful cinematic shots, including shots of some green fishmen swimming in front of this kitschy Irish gift shop, the Palace Arcade displaying an ominous and slightly threatening sacrifice across the marquee, while a tiger is sitting in front trying to stay dry. What we're going to do now is we're going to bring in a 500-pound tiger. The tiger's going to sit on that blue car there on the hood. It's going to swim over, sit in the car, and Scott's going to go by in the boat. I'm gonna stay over here by the edge, so. Hello, my name's Gary Kelly. Uh, I'll be handling the tiger for today's shoot. Normally, tigers like water quite a bit, so they're and they're they're very good swimmers. And uh, uh, this particular tiger, he he loves to swim. Okay, here we go. Let's go, camera. No, no, no. Hold on. The tiger is getting very interested in Scott. So just wait a second. Okay. 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 And a candlelit vigil inside of a bus. Hold on, wait, I've seen this bus before. Could, could it be? Unfortunately, no. I ran these two side by side for reference and the bus used in the New York scare zone of Halloween Horror Nights last year was not the same bus from the Creed music video. I'm really sorry. I was kind of hoping that would just, wouldn't that be so cool if it, I, it's a different bus though. Yeah, we're about to film in this bus. It's going to be full of candles and red velvet, and it's pretty much just going to be uh, shot for the, the more calm part of the song. It's a very beautiful scene, so it's the scene I've been most looking forward to shooting. Let's roll playback! Also, this is what it looks like after I eat nearly anything from Mel's Diner and I don't make it to the toilet in time. I'm, I'm sorry, I had to throw a joke in there. About to shoot the big stunt where we throw a baby carriage through the window. Um, all the tornadoes blowing around and when the baby carriage goes through the window, that kind of symbolism stops the storm and Scott's able to reunite with his inner child. Slicks in and leaves. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Thank you very much. We're done with day one. I think we got a lot of good stuff. Everyone's happy, so we'll see you tomorrow only on MTV.
rock on. Just two years after their first ever performance at Downtown Disney's Pleasure Island in 1995, the boys at NSYNC made their return to Orlando theme parks where they filmed their music video for their hit song, I Want You Back. Most of the video for the band's debut single consisted of honestly stunning shots of this very street, where you could see the Palace Arcade sign in the background as well as this massive sparkly backdrop which no longer is here if you can't tell. One other shot seen a fair amount in this video is an aerial shot from above this hubcap. I really wish I could recreate the shot, but unfortunately my arms are not long enough to reach that height. I really do wish this video had more pizzazz to it like the Creed video that was filmed in this same exact location, but I'm sure the next video will more than make up for it. Next up we have what is probably the least known video from the four music videos that we're talking about today, but honestly kind of the strangest, the strangest one. <laughs> the video for Fruitcakes by Jimmy Buffett. Strange not only in the lyrics, which can be a video completely on its own. Like, just listen to this part of the first verse. I don't want a 12 pound Nestle Crunch for $25. I want Junior Mints, we want fruitcakes in the world and less bakers. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what is he? What is this guy talking about? Trust me, the more context I give, the more confusing this song gets that's apparently about grocery shopping or something, something like that. <laughs> a majority of this video are shots of Mr. Buffet driving his convertible down the streets of Universal Florida. To a regular consumer's eye, this video is just like a dude driving his car down the street. But as a die-hard theme park fan, and it being at this very popular theme park, presumably during operating hours because it's during the day, and it's open 365 days a year, I can't help but imagine guests having to dodge out of the way of this crazed man as he attempts to mow down the Johnson family from Indiana as they're just trying to find where E.T. Adventure is. <laughs> like, could you imagine Jimmy Buffett just like freaking zooming down? Let's go, zoom. He's going real fast. <laughs> After an aggressive loop around the lake, Jimmy then takes a second to relax and catch a few rays on the front porch of the NBC Media Center. The rest of this video is pretty much exclusively performance shots of him dancing with extras dressed as everything from televangelists to fruitcake mascots. And not one single appearance from our beloved Hemisphere Dancer. I mean, it's sitting right out here on City Walk. Oh wait, hold on. City Walk was not actually built until 1999, and this video was filmed, this music video was filmed at least five or so years prior. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> if you search YouTube for music videos filmed in Universal Studios Florida, you'll be able to find content on almost every single one of the videos that we've talked about so far. After all, there's only so many things to talk about. When it comes to Universal Parks, there's going to be some overlap. But there is one music video that doesn't have a footprint anywhere in theme park content just yet. Partly because it's technically a music video, but not really. And partly because it's more well known for the television show segments following the airing of this video. That's right, I am talking about the All That theme song slash music video. For those who might not know what the television show All That is, first I'd like to say, hello children, how are you doing today? <laughs> Second, All That was a sketch comedy show that originally aired on Nickelodeon from 1994 to 2005, with a total of 10 seasons. Wow, 10 seasons, that's insane. Now, this was not your run-of-the-mill sketch show. The cast of All That started a group of extremely talented child-slash-teen actors. Kind of like Paramount's version of the Mickey Mouse Club, except much more entertaining, in, in my opinion. Among the show's major players were names like Amanda Bynes, Kenan Thompson, Kel Mitchell, and Nick Cannon. I've recently learned that there's actually a reboot of All That from 2019 with an all-new cast of 10-plus new child stars, all of which were children of Nick Cannon. Legally, I have to say that's a joke. That one's a joke. <laughs> Since the show aired on Nickelodeon, what better filming location than a newly opened Nickelodeon Studios Orlando at the sound stages at Universal Studios Florida? It is hard to tell how many episodes of the show were filmed at the sound stages, but we know at least the pilot episode was. As well as the opening theme. Sting Alley was the go-to spot for this nondescript city alleyway. But this time, I believe it was supposed to be the alleyway for a trampoline factory? Let me explain. <laughs> the parts of this music video that were shot in park were like 95% clips of the teen actors slow-mo bouncing on trampolines. It was a, a choice. Nonetheless, it's still crazy to me that all those years of watching this show growing up and going to this park growing up, and I had no idea this was filmed like right here until 
pretty much a year and a half ago. If you're looking for a shot for shot comparison, this shot right here of Kel Mitchell during his like title slide compared with this Google image search will show you that like this is the exact angle that it was shot from as well as if you see here in the corner you could see like the barbershop hole which is still still here today as well as the metal awning just to the right this was clearly the exact spot that this was filmed in now normally i'd show you the exact angle myself without getting a google image but right now uh this area of sting alley is unfortunately blocked off for some refurb construction something like that uh, i walked up today and i was like uh oh this is bad but we found a way, we found a way around this. <laughs> Before we wrap up, I do want to give some honorable mentions for the videos that were shot in the park, but less people care about for me to like talk about it in this video, I guess. The video for Hot Fun in the Sun by the Beach Boys. And basically, basically that's it. It was so difficult for me to find info for this video online, especially when Universal Studios Hollywood is home to the filming locations of 90% of top 40 music videos. And the only thing separating those two searches is either Florida or Hollywood. Universal Florida kind of just felt like it was left the scraps and that's, that's okay. I really did have a good time today and I hope you learned something. I know for sure I did. Just so I know you made it to the very end of the video, please leave a comment down below of what your favorite classic Nickelodeon show is. That's that's a good one. For mine, I would probably either have to go with All That or Drake and Josh, really depending on which era we're talking about, but you could you could literally leave whatever in the comments. Let me know. Also, big shout out to my dude, Danny, who you may have seen in my last video here on YouTube, who pushed me to finally make this one. It's been on my like idea board notes app for over a year now, and finally, Finally, I got this one done. Whether you're a new subscriber or a long time viewer out of pity, yes, I know, this is a joke. I, I hope you know that too. Please just play along in the comments. Thank you so much for watching the history of music videos filmed here at Universal Studios Florida. If you have any suggestions for videos like this, history-based ones, please let me know in the comments below as well as the Nickelodeon thing. Okay, regardless, okay, that's it, bye.